More galling. It's time now for some media madness. Joining me now is the founder of Life Flip Media, Eric Mitchell. Also with us, managing editor at Newsbusters, Curtis Houck. Gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. So you know what? I'm going to switch it up because I was going to ask. I'm, I'm going to ask you, Eric. Uh, let's go to question number two real quick. I want to show the NBC News. OK, is this the one? Let's. OK, let's let's show this. Look what NBC News, Eric, because I know you're going to get a kick out of this one, how they addressed the Senate staffer who was caught uh, sending videos of himself having sex with his older bear boyfriend. Can we put that up again? Put it up. OK, Senate staffer alleged by conservative outlets to have had sex in a hearing room is no longer employed. Look at the, the spin, the narrative NBC News tries to do there. What do you think about that? <laughs> Are we supposed to be shocked? This is the same organization on a daily basis says that Donald Trump, when reelected, will be going around just ma going down the sidewalk, randomly killing people. So are we I, I can't be shocked anymore. I mean, I try to be, but they always spin it. I mean, there was a video. I mean, we can all see it clear as day. But hey, those news outlets, you know, Newsmax, how dare you report the actual news? We're going to spin it as alleged. Everything's alleged with the left. And only so according to the conservative media. So we're the only ones that have eyes in our heads that saw this guy like having sex in a congressional <laughs> chamber there. I mean, you can't make this stuff up. And of course, he's a Democrat. But but Joe Biden was bringing decency back to the White House. Curtis, uh, late night host Jimmy Kimmel. He didn't like how conservative outlets, especially us at Newsmax, were discussing the gay nutcrackers. I think you might have been on that segment. And even I made Jimmy's list. Take a look. Well, Christmas is less than two weeks away. This is a magical time of the year when the right wing nuts come out of the woodwork to fight the many imaginary wars on Christmas. And this year they've got a new made up reason to be outraged. Gay nutcracker, complete with a rainbow hat, a trans flag. A gay nutcracker? It doesn't make sense. You have to ask yourself, you know, why do they keep pushing this? They're going after the innocence of our children. Gay nutcracker. Gay nutcracker. Gay nutcracker. Gay nutcracker and black disabled Santa. They had black Santa next to it in a wheelchair. Black Santa in the wheelchair. Santa in the wheelchair. Let's be honest. If you're a gay man and you have any semblance of taste, you do not have a gay pride nutcracker in your house, okay? Let's yeah. OK, Curtis, you know, they left out the part where I said the reason I, I objected to the Santa in the wheelchair is when I was at Target with my daughter. She was like, why is Santa in the wheelchair? He's not going to be able to come down the chimney anymore. So look how they <laughs> snipped it like purposefully to make it seem like I'm against disabled people. They cut out like the whole point of my argument. I mean, this is just how they roll, right? Right, exactly. Jimmy Kimmel is a very sad, bitter man. As Red Steve's on Twitter notes on a daily basis, these shows are group therapy for liberals. That's really what all of this is. It's not for comedy. It's for liberals to, when they're going to bed under their bed sheets, as they're scared of Donald Trump, who's going to come <laughs> execute them in the middle of the night, they're watching this to try and feel better about themselves. And with Christmas decorations between this and what Jill Biden was doing at the White House, I say, keep it simple, stupid. You know, my wife and I got our – it's our first Christmas together. We got a little tree. And she puts regular lights on. We put all the Christmas ornaments on from when we were kids. You keep it simple. You keep it elegant like Melania Trump did uh, when she was in the White House. Don't mess with – just let it be. You, you didn't know? put like it, a rainbow flag? You didn't drape it with a rainbow flag and some gay nutcrackers and all that stuff on your tree? No. Don't mess don't mess up a good thing. Don't mess up a good thing. <laughs> yeah. Who would have thought that, you know, Christmas was maybe, I don't know, about Christ. Uh, Eric, uh, the mainstream media, it's been going bananas defending Joe Biden and his family. Take a look. There is no evidence of any wrongdoing. No, no evidence, evidence of wrongdoing. Of any wrongdoing. No, no evidence, evidence of wrongdoing. Of wrongdoing. No, no evidence, evidence of wrongdoing. Of wrongdoing. Of wrongdoing. So, Eric, you first and then Curtis, no evidence, no evidence. I mean, there's been a plethora, a mountain of evidence. And yet they just it seems like the White House is like in working in concert with the mainstream media at this point. They even say the exact same phrases. I mean, are we shocked anymore that they say there's no evidence? It's like their thing. No evidence, even though we have piles of it, the statements, recordings of President Joe Biden saying that he's, you know, worked with Hunter and, you know, Hunter out there crying and working with, you know, Eric over there who, you know, had a Chinese, you know, spy mistress. But we're all supposed to forget about that because there's no evidence, even though when they tried to run up the flagpole against President Trump, 
they had no evidence either, but we weren't allowed to say that. We're always, it's always wrong if you're conservative and say, it's, say that there's no evidence. But oh my goodness, go with mainstream media and the White House. They will pump out whatever they want you to believe. I mean, they still have people believing that, you know, everybody should go get their 100th booster for the day and still wear masks. <laughs> Curtis, final thoughts to you about the media yeah. and how it works uh, hand in hand with the Biden administration. If everything was above board with the Bidens, why is there tens of thousands of emails from when Joe Biden was vice president using a pseudonym? Why is there voicemails uh, from Joe to Hunter talking about uh, the Chinese businesses? Why yeah. are there dozens of LLCs? Why were nearly a dozen family members receiving foreign payments? I mean, all of those things. Normal people don't do those sorts of things. You know, that's really what I'm saying. What about Cafe Milano? What about those rides on Air Force Two? Did right. they just talk right. about the weather on those two? I know it's incredible. Know. We got to leave it right there. Merry right Christmas there. to both of you. Thank you so much. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, lady. All right, coming up.